Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with AWS. Our viewer is trying to import a large 1.4 gigabyte MySQL file into their RDS instance, but keeps running into an error that says, lost connection to MySQL server during query. Let's explore how to effectively import large MySQL files into AWS RDS without running into connection issues. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To import a large MySQL file into AWS RDS, we need to consider a few important factors. First, let's check the maximum allowed packet size. Next, we can increase the timeout settings to prevent the connection from dropping during the import process. This can be done by adjusting the wait timeout and interactive timeout. Now, let's use the MySQL command line to import the file. This method is more efficient for large files compared to using a GUI tool. If the file is still too large, consider splitting it into smaller chunks. You can use tools like MySQL Dump or scripts to break the file into manageable sizes. Finally, ensure your RDS instance has enough resources. You may need to scale up your instance type to handle larger imports more effectively. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. If you're facing a lost connection to your MySQL server during a large file import, it might be due to a timeout. This often happens when importing from a local machine that's not in the same region as your RDS instance. To resolve this, consider importing from an EC2 instance that has access to your RDS. First, upload your file to S3 then SSH into the EC2 instance to run the import. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.